treatment of the surface when we start doing uh, any kind of glazing. Um, what it does, it just promotes adhesion. Okay. It comes in a can like this. The Zika activator is very critical for the dates on it. Without a date, we don't want this being used. You'll see when we get into the glazing and stuff, that well, this is all time sensitive. Um, the regular cartridge stuff, it's not as time sensitive. But any activators or primers or cleaners, we do want it to be within the date on here. See the cleaner? And again, it's, this is a, it's a cleaner, and it's for the promotion of adhesion um, for any bonding. And it's basically for bonding for um, organic glasses. It's a fast dry uh, cleaner. Um, it's really used on, on metals and plastics. It's a Sika primer, 206 G plus P. It's another um, primer, again, to promote the adhesion of Sika to whatever the substrates may be. And we, you'll see we work on many different substrates. This is basically a, um, a primer for glass. And where we use it mostly, it can be used on steel, it can be used on polyurethane, it can be used on uh, painted surfaces, um, what else? It can be used on plastics also. Um, that's kind of where this is. Again, it's another primer. The last one is the Sika Primer 209. Um, it's a pre-treat, again, to promote, promote adhesion, but it's a pre-treat for polycarbonate. And when we say polycarbonate, we're talking lexan or something like that. That's usually what you'll see is used with. Um, again, it's a, just a cut and dry, uh, time sensitive again. All these are time sensitive. Um, the bottles themselves, if you've ever opened one of these up, and I don't want to open them up because they're really dirty, but we can if you, if you turn around and do it. Um, it's a cotton swab inside of it. Um, and it's just it's very, I mean, you'll hear how, li how liquid it is, especially when you throw it on the ground. But it has, it has the activator in there too. Um, they're all that way. Um, I'm surprised that that's, this one's dead right now because that doesn't have the other. It's not. That's what will happen. You won't get that. Um, so those are the primers and the cleaners. No, they exist. The reason that they really exist, 99 times out of 100, is for glass or polycarbonates. There are also some situations, though, for work with steel, because um, steel is oily, that you want, uh, that you're going to have to use one of these to, to make the adhesion work.